Adults tend to view kids as carefree. With no bills to pay or job to worry about, it's hard to believe that a child would be stressed out. But parents should be aware that even their kids feel worried and to some degree have certain stressors. Valley News Live's Abby Furchner talks with a Sanford doctor on how you can pinpoint stress in your child. Parents have a lot on their plate. From balancing work, finances, and kids, it's easy for the stress to build. And even though the reasons may not be the same, kids can feel the same way. If there's uh, extra pressure placed on children to perform well academically, if they're feeling stretched in many different areas, such as, well, they have to, you know, study for their 12 AP classes, and then we have to go to violin class, and then, oh, and then we have football and uh, basketball season, and they're overlapping right now, too. A child's home environment can also be adding to the problem. Kids oftentimes uh, pick up on a lot more things than we give them credit for as well. Uh, so if parents are stressed out about finances and they're arguing about that and kids over here, um, that can definitely cause some stress in the children. It can be difficult to pinpoint stress, but parents can look out for some red flags, like a noticeable difference in behavior. The, the most common thing that I hear is, this is not my child. You know, my child is acting differently than, than what they normally do. Things like wetting the bed, temper tantrums can actually be um, a sign of some underlying stress. If these red flags are sounding familiar, Dr. Meyer says the best place to start is providing your child comfort. This may not be forcing them to talk about their issues, but spending quality time with them can help relieve some of the stress. In Fargo, Abby Furchner, Valley News Live. Dr. Mayer says parents shouldn't be afraid to ask for extra help. Counseling can be a great option for kids as it gives them a safe place to talk about what they're going through.